Top six. Top three. Top three. Top three. Take it or leave it. <laughs> so winner send me some music. Just be best winner takes all. Three. Wait, pay me. I'm running the stream. Pay you what? You get one free red I already got it. Oh, get fucked. Only one? Should have saved it. Bobby. Yeah. You can have another one if you want. You know who really wants Red Bull though? Who, wants re who really wants Red Bull? Red Bull? I think it's Toadie and Marja. That's cute. Brock, that's cute. Top six pay out. Top six pay out. So, Palutena Diddy Kong. So, is that, so, so should we put um like? Uh, so top eight should be winners like. Should top eight be best of five? No, we just, we just straight out said winners semis lose support. That's top eight. That's top six. That's top six. Isn't there a loser's eights? Yeah, loser's eights will not be best of five then. Though, I mean, at that rate, you're playing for seventh, aka you're wow. playing for money. So I, maybe you should. Maybe you should. If you're but playing. It's only gonna be 1% of the pot or some shit like that. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> I wanna make back the $2 I spent to get in here. I already did mine for doubles. Congratulations. Oh, wait, did you, did you record my score? Yes, I did. Okay. I ate I it. That's like, how many enemies? Tasty. Cody doing a pretty good job keeping control of the pace of the match. I think Diddy Kong definitely is a character who uh, forces Palutena to not really be as linear as uh, she normally is, because Diddy Kong's really good at forcing his game plan onto other characters. Rucha missed the uh, turnaround grab there. Yeah. Probably stuck. Still, you can't really buffer that because you're stuck in the animation, and if you, it'll accept the uh, the grab input before the actual like turnaround input. Right. No, we haven't done shit. <laughs> Cody though doing a really good job staying outside. Never mind. Straight in there. Straight last hit of Nair, killing. I have to Lorenzo! What do I do with him? What? Kill him. Yeah. But yeah. Diddy Kong definitely he forced he's really good at forcing people to play uh, his game. Because it's really difficult to, to challenge moves straight. like banana. So like cause the effective range of like an item toss is like pretty hard. And like he gets a lot of damage off of landing it. So it's pretty difficult for uh, most characters to like enforce him to play the way they want him to. And especially because his like aerials are just really good, like forward air and back air are both really strong. Another but thing about that banana, it's transcendent, so it'll pretty much stop everything you do if you're not pretty much invincible. Yep. Go it'll go through your projectiles, do anything. So you better hope if you're trying to do hit beat it with a projectile that your uh, projectile will hit Diddy, but you better hope that you get enough so that Diddy still doesn't punish you. Definitely. Mega Man pellets, they ain't shit. He's really small too, so it's not really like easy to kind of like force aerials onto him either because of his height. But it's Marisha there, yep, doing a good job calling out the monkey flip. Ooh, but barely whiffing the nair right there. Cody doing a really good job standing straight outside of the range. I think he recognized that Pellets was still landing, so he wasn't really sure if the banana would uh would trip. Mm -hmm. So, opting for a grab for a safe. Safe neutral exchange. The good up air. Oh, yeah, no real conversion off that. The aerial banana really has no hit stun. So it's like, it's hard to get a combo. Which, if you're a Diddy Kong player, you're probably in that position often. God. Yeah, those barrels, <laughs> who knows when they're coming back. They're not there, dude! <laughs> Holy moly, dude. It's not cool, it's funny. That's like the third time he's done that today, dude! I know! Dude, it was like two seconds after he got hit out of the barrels and it just came out of nowhere. Yo, two seconds is a long time. That's a Can Mississippi you, and a I, Mississippi. Can I hop on commentary with you boys? Yeah, you wanna try com? Hell yeah. 
So we got Toadie here. So I just, believe you just saw that. What just happened? Yeah, yeah. Toadie has a big dick and even bigger barrels. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think there's much to be said about that. No. Uh, I for one would not be ready for that situation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always on the lookout. I I know. I'm As a always. Diddy Kong player yourself. I mean, I don't play play Diddy Kong. I play them <laughs> enough to know that those things are funny. Dude. Yeah. This yeah. Is funny. <laughs> Yeah, but right now, Toady uh, got to find his way out of disadvantage. I don't know if I like that. Maybe he would have just wanted to go back to ledge there. Like, there's always the threat of being ledge trapped, but I feel like that scenario... I mean, I, I didn't see the first game, but... Uh, are you trying to force it is good to be mixing up instead your, uh, of reset to neutral, yeah. opting to monkey flip on at Palu there. Yep. Not really a good decision, in my opinion. But he's trying his best. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, Diddy Kong being too short. I brought it up last game. It's always a factor you have to be watching out for. Though zoning Diddy Kong typically is not the worst option because uh, his air drift is really, really committal. He has really little control over his own jump arc. But, like, yeah. He usually just covers, like, a really long horizontal that was space, a good too. Monkey but, like, catch that landing. Man. Yeah, Toadie right now. He's winning neutral, but he needs to be able to fix his disadvantage up a little bit because he's. It's when he loses neutral, he takes a lot of damage. I feel like he can avoid. Yeah, he's taking a lot more than he should, but that single air dodge did get him out of it for the most part. Yep. Good monkey flip uh, mix up right there. A lot of people aren't prepared for the command grab because they expect a, a landing aerial on yeah, He's shield. been doing a good job um, just doing the uh, one of the hitbox for most of the game. That was like one of the first ones I saw where he actually just did the command grab. It's a really good way to get out of disadvantage at the moment. Yep. Huh, the barrel. Barrels didn't hit, but... A good situation for him. Oh, that lasted a long time. But he's good wall clean, but... It's a good F smash. Yeah, I was ready for that. <laughs> catches Marcha out of the jump animation right there. That's gonna be a combo. Oh, text the platform. Good stuff from Marcha. Keeping all awareness. Oh, that was incorrect. I think you probably wanted raw bear. bear? I don't know. I don't really understand what just happened. <laughs> well, regardless. No no punish on that uh, charged F smash. Cody doing a good job mixing up how he is playing his neutral. He's involving a lot more full hops to like, change his spacing. But yeah, his disadvantage right now is still could be better. He definitely wants it to be... Going to ledge with barrels a little bit more. Monkey flip though. I think it would be more efficient if he uh, tried to do the smash input monkey flip a little bit more often, but it's a little hard to do in the heat of the moment, so. Because it's barely squeaking by right now, but I think he definitely could be getting more mileage out of a, a longer flip. Now Toadie's getting a lot of trades with Marcha, which is not really what he wants to be doing at the moment. Yeah, Diddy, down a whole stock. Yeah, Diddy's damage output is not exactly the best. Toadie going for a, a little too many monkey flips. Yeah. Yeah. Most of the time he does end up monkey, monkey flipping back on his stage. Even in neutral, he's like, if it works, it works, but like he's... Yeah. Doing the kick a little bit too often, he's not even really doing the hop because like the kick is more laggy. So if they avoid it completely, it's easier to punish. And like yeah, he's more over trying to force like himself back into a into an advantage instead of resetting to neutral first. Yeah, or just being in a safer situation. Yeah, it's difficult against Palutena because her hitboxes are like disjointed enough to be like hard to challenge, and like her air mobility is like her acceleration is really fast. I think she's tied for the fastest actually. Right, Toady opting for Yggdrasil's altar. Definitely a bigger stage. I think he doesn't like the platforms getting in the way of how he's yeah. playing neutral. He for definitely, sure. you could kind of just tell in the way he played that he was not really comfortable in where he played. Ellis is not here this semester. Yeah, he's, so he's just not going to be here. No, he's just he's just gone. No, he's taking a break. Oh, he's taking a break? Is he coming back? I've heard mixed things about that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I've heard multiple things. There is the intention to come back. Okay. Alright, Toadie's using much more of the of the ground space, which is what he seems to be very comfortable with. Yeah. Plays. 
So he probably felt really restricted on Yoshi's, why he op which is why he opted for this stage in particular. Yeah, yeah, like Diddy Kong, like I was saying before, really good at controlling horizontal space, and this stage definitely like benefits that type of style. This transformation specifically also good at benefiting that type of style. What? I got one. Hey, <laughs> let's go PSU. How does that even happen? I don't know. Look, look. Oh my god. And there's, still, there's still eight minutes. Imagine having more than ten times the score of your opponent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, he could have gotten a big punish there, but I don't yep. think he was ready for the uh, for him just to commit to an explosive flame. Yeah. Marucha definitely has to be a little bit more aware of the banana right there. But Maybe try to like Z catch on landing or like toss out an aerial or air dodge away at least, but Cody was luckily not able to get a kill, luckily for uh, Marucha there. Ooh, tries to anti here, but only a little bit off. Monkey flipping a little bit too preemptively. Ooh, oh my well, goodness. There's up smash. That was actually an, a sudden death, as, like, that was a sudden death moment if that was last saw too. That wasn't even like... <laughs> I think Cody definitely should try to follow up on a lot of the further banana confirms with dash attack because it's the main thing I don't agree with with uh, Toady right now is um, after getting hit by Palutena, he's opting to like monkey flip in immediately out of hit stun, which I think he has plenty of room to retreat as I well think, in the first place. Yeah, I think he definitely could be making use of neutral air dodge a little bit more after the initial hit to like kind of uh, not even. I think he could just. Drift away. I mean, yeah. Instead of just trying to monkey flip in and force a force a situation. Yeah, he's a little too hasty on the trigger. Like that. Um, Marucha ready to shield right right for that one. Yep. Right now, though, this is where uh, Toadie's been doing the best. Is in neutral. It's just a matter of. Well, that's like a pretty solid like. 20 plus percent. Ooh, yeah. That mix up with the up smash. It's mostly just the disadvantage state for Toadie is like netting him way. It's just getting Marucha way too much damage. I love that mix up for um, where you put down an item and then you go past it or whatever and just like do an aggressive option instead of that. Yeah, because people instead expect you to pick it. up the item, yeah. <laughs> Good job on Cody, uh, delaying his up B recovery there instead of going onto the stage with his up B again. Finally right. gets the kill. Yep. Did he come not really a good comeback character because he has to work really hard in neutral in order to get the damage he needs? That was a very but... strange interaction. I yeah. don't really see what just happened there. Ooh. That was a good counter from uh, Maricha. Bring Diddy Kong off stage. Oh my oh, god, no. that was a very scary. Yeah, situation if he had not Tony. landed into the floor, he could have been far enough to where Polytana wouldn't have been able to get a, a punish. But so he's able to reset neutral really well with the banana and the fair right off of it. But uh, he finds himself I... back in disadvantage. Where yeah. is recognizing the um, the recovery options past ledge, but uh, not able to get the up smashes out in time. Yep. Good frame trap though by Cody. Well, not really a frame trap, but good coverage. Oh, not a. I do not agree with that explosive plan. Yeah. I feel like it was something else. I feel like maybe he expected... Oh! Oh, in the back throw. Yeah, with the grab. Kevin. But Marusha, though, clutching out the game, too. Cody was getting a little bit of momentum there, but the deficit he was at when by the time he got there was already a little bit too much.